Hello everyone, I'm the Alien Doctor, but you can call me Alien, and welcome back to another tutorial. I know, two tutorials <laughs> um, in a row, it's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, got a new tutorial, because today I want to show you a new bedrock breaking method. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, so this is only going to work in Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.16.100, it won't work in Java, and it's patched in 1.16.100. 200 beaters so you need to do it in this version if the title of this uh, Video is broken then do not follow this because it will not work. And that's why the title says broken um, It will be right at the start in capital letters probably with some brackets some square brackets as well But yeah If you're watching this near when it's been uploaded then it should be okay And I also don't think that they are going to do any hot fixes for this bedrock breaking method so this bedrock breaking method is extremely cheap to do and um, yeah you can use it sideways and upwards that's right and uh, yeah we're just going to get straight into it and I'm going to show you so um, what you need is you'll need some stairs or some slabs stairs if you're doing it sideways slabs if you're doing it upwards and then signs as many signs as you really want uh, I recommend having multiple of all of these because it means that you'll actually be able to um, do it a lot quicker without having to mine it each time. Also, the bedrock, you don't get the physical bedrock item, you just get the block removed. And all you've got to do is place this sign on this part of the stair. And as you can see, it deletes the bedrock. And then with the slab, all you've got to do is place a slab underneath the bedrock and then a sign on top of the slab to delete the bedrock. It's pretty amazing. So this method was actually first found I believe by Navy Nexus or he's the first person that I found to actually make a tutorial on this and this actually works on any block so it works on obsidian for example we can just demonstrate this here boom it works on end what's this end stone works on that as well, can't believe I just forgot the name of that. It literally works on any block. Uh, it means that if you don't like the bedrock portal here in the end, then you can obviously just remove it and you can also do it like that to remove it if you want to. So yeah, um, maybe it's you don't like the bedrock on top of here. Well then, you can remove that as well. You can see it's gone. <laughs> So not only is that a thing, but if we actually come up here, and this is the, uh, the nether roof, at the top of the nether there is basically a bedrock roof, then you can even use this method to remove the bedrock roof like I did in Alien Craft in the upcoming Alien Craft episode, which hasn't been released yet. Um, I actually do this, and I'm sure there'll be some footage used from that video throughout that. Something that you have got to be careful of is that you don't place the sign on the block behind the slab because it will actually remove the slab, uh, which is why I would recommend bringing spare slabs. As you can see, I accidentally did it just then. Um, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, we literally made a hole up here. Now, the unfortunate thing is we cannot build up here, uh, unlike Java Edition where you can build up here. However, there is speculation that in the future, with the upcoming caves and cliffs update, that they will make the max building height a little bit higher, uh, and hopefully that means they'll also make it higher in the nether as well. I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait and see on that one, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, it would be nice if we could build on top of here, because like it would make some really cool nether hubs. Um, if you want to, you can just place the sign on a sign, so you don't even have to destroy it every time. Look, you can just go like that. Um, and yeah, this is just a really quick and easy method that I wanted to make a tutorial on. I did not find this, I'm not that smart. Um, and yeah, this has been patched, so you are in the new beta, so you are going to want to use this. If you, you know, if there's a point where you know in the future you want to remove some bedrock, you need to be doing it in the current version. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes a while for the next version to come out which actually fixes this and I doubt they're going to do a hot fix so you will still have a little bit of time don't think you've got literally weeks uh, until this thing gets removed uh, I have lost the hole to get out 
Uh, but yeah, don't think this thing is going to be removed in weeks. It will stay here for a little while first. Um, let's just drop down into here. And yeah. So that's actually the end of today's video. Uh, just a short video showcasing this bedrock method and also showing you how to do it because I mean I know that there'll be a lot of people that want to remove bedrock in their world whether it's in the end in the nether really wherever so now you can so yeah thanks for watching I'll see you in another video hopefully soon go subscribe follow my socials all that jazz that youtubers say at the end of their videos I'll see you later bye